The four men who were scheduled to launch later this morning say they're unlike the notable space tourists of recent launches. They're a new category of private industry astronauts chosen by a private company. Axiom. In a first, these four astronauts, representing four countries who were not trained by a government, will be on an eight-day mission to the International Space Station. Our guys aren't going up there and uh, floating around for eight days taking pictures and, and looking out of the cupola. I mean, we have a very intensive and research-oriented timeline planned for them. With this mission, Axiom is setting the stage to construct its privately owned space station to compete with China, which already has its own, as the ISS could end its revolutionary run in the not-too-distant future. Axiom's president, Mike Suffredini, nicknamed Suff, is a former NASA astronaut himself. Suff likens these astronauts to railroad pioneers. When you think about the good old days of like the railroad, for instance, you know, they built the railroads, well, the railroads are the, are the launch vehicles and the, and the destination is, is our facility. Three of the four private astronauts share one trait with so many others who have gone to space lately. They're mega millionaires, each paying 55 million to be on this mission. Two spent their lives as investment professionals. The other, a former business owner and Israeli fighter pilot. The fourth, former NASA astronaut and ISS commander, Michael Lopez Alegria. We have to start somewhere. And you go back a century ago when people just were starting to fly in commercial airplanes, same kind of thing, only the very wealthy were able to do it. Now look who can fly in an airplane. Eliminating gravity has become critical to solving engineering and once far-fetched medical challenges. The future of uh, 3D manufacturing of organs, it's all, it's all about space because in microgravity environments you have to worry about scaffolding. We could print whole organs and uh, that would be a you know, really big, uh, you can imagine that business by itself. Private space exploration providing new hope. Innovations like that may one day not be so out of this world. It all sounds like science fiction, but then remember, it was once considered absurd that we would send a rocket out of the atmosphere into space, and now it's become routine. As we take a look at pad 39A, that rocket there, well, it's a reusable rocket from SpaceX. That booster there, this will be its fifth trip and then return to Earth. And then the capsule, this is the second trip. You know, Suff says that uh, it's kind of hard to understand what is about to happen with the privatization of space. But he says, think back to the early days of the internet. We could never have imagined how much the internet would become in our lives. And he believes that's where the imagination begins with what's happening in space now, guys. Mm, good uh -huh. analogy. All right, Carrie Sanders for us there at Kennedy Space Center. Carrie, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.